So by now we're all aware Nadia has big plans to just completely move away from COD. She's going to be going into the real life content creation, right? We've seen it happen, but today I think we've figured out why. So let's crack on with the news. Now there is a lot of speculation surrounding this subject, maybe Nadia is actually moving away from COD because she doesn't want to continue cheating now that she's been exposed so much. Or maybe it's the fact that she realised she wasn't good enough at Call of Duty when she attended those LAN events. In fact, I remember Nick Merck specifically talking about people who can't perform at LAN events and we're going to show you that clip now. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know her, I barely know of her, um, and I'm definitely not going to get caught up in the, in the bullshit about, I guess, some girl cheating or not, you know? I'll say this, though, I will say this. This is my rule after all these years in, in gaming. I'll, I'm going to tell you this. If you ever think a player's cheating, Okay, so I'm sure, how many of you guys think people are cheating? Like people that are have viewers, whatever the fuck, you know. How many of you guys think in your heart of hearts that certain people are cheating? Okay, okay. If you think that, which is fine, I think you're right too. I think I think there's people that are cheating for sure. Um, just wait to land, and and when or if they go to a land and they perform or underperform, that should tell you a good amount that, you, that you're trying to know, you know what I mean? That, that, that should tell you. If you go to a land and you see this completely different player, that's, that's a problem, in my opinion. You know, I mean, listen, not everybody's gonna always perform every time they go to land, but you realize at that Call of Duty land, we played for how many hours? Played for like a whole day. It was like eight hour. It was like an eight hour stream where we played. Not only do we play the BR, but we played like fucking hardpoint and TDM and SND and third person mode. I mean, I don't know. That's definitely a thing. Herbs are a thing, though. I'm not talking about being scared or anxious. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. You, you, you see this guy or this girl, whatever, whoever the fuck, and they're performing incredibly online and they get to land and they're just fucking awful <laughs> that's a fucking problem hey that's an issue it is what it is so I, like I said I don't know anything about that shit but just my, my rule of thumb that's always been my rule of thumb so when people tell you that I'm cheating bro show them all the times across how, how many different games that we pull up and just ball out what? How could I be fucking cheating? A lot of these guys don't don't cheat, but there are some that probably do. There are there are some that probably do. I'd say a few, you know. Now this has actually caused a lot of people to make videos about Nadia. In fact, there are people even talking about the fact that Nadia might be cheating in Apex. In fact, just the name itself being included in the video helps a lot. For example, It's Happer and Cletus put out a video showing Nadia cheating in Apex. Take a look. All right, here we are on board with Nadia. Looks like she's only got six squads left and hasn't done a point of damage. Look at her looking down sight like, I think they're over here. Kind of like she ain't got no wall hacks on. Oh, well, she saw the enemy there. Hell, left there. She must have not toggled on that one. Oh, look at the tracking on that. Oh, somebody gave her some halfway decent settings to work with, huh? Good aim smoothing, uh huh? Get all in that. How would you alt that unless you knew there were people on top of there? Look at that. Toggle, toggle. Stop, stop, stop. You toggle. Last second, I've seen the toggle. 
Now there are people like Happen making joke and funny videos about Nadia and honestly it's content for them. When it comes to somebody cheating so blatantly in a video game it becomes hard for people not to use that as a topic of conversation. In fact people with over 1.2 million subscribers like Kavos here on YouTube have decided to actually talk about Nadia in videos discussing about her doxing somebody live on stream so maybe that was the final straw for Nadia. The reason is because she done something horrific on stream that even large creators are starting to call it out. Take a look at some of the video from Kavos now. So today we're going to talk about one of the biggest stories of the week, the Twitch streamer Nadia. Now you might know Nadia because she's a Warzone streamer who her whole career is built around cheating allegations and people accusing her of cheating and saying that she's not actually that good of a player. I haven't looked into that, but even I fucking know that and I don't keep up with this girl at all. However, she did some of the dumbest shit I have seen in a long time on Twitch for no reason other than a guy calling her out for using cheats, which is what the majority of her persona is built off and why she's so famous in the first place. So someone donated to Nadia's stream. You'll notice in the clip there's bleeped out segments. That's her going on PayPal and reading out this guy's full name after donating to her stream. People will donate a dollar to me and they'll hate. So I just want to say, Daddy Slayer, I know you used your name as Daddy Slayer and you, you said, enjoy using cheats. But what you don't know is that when you send me money on PayPal, it actually gives me your full name. So Thank you for the dollar dono. For whatever reason, you find actual time to do something in your fucking life. Because now you look like a fucking idiot. Again. And then space, if anyone wants to know. Thank you for the dollar dono. Appreciate that. That will go towards my McDonald's Happy Meal Fund. All the guy said was, enjoy using cheats. That was it. Wasn't even that fucking harsh. And she goes and blurts out his full name on stream, doxing him and his information. Now, I know people will say, yeah, but she's not giving out the full address. The guy is hidden behind a username. She gets a donation and reads out and blasts his full name for anyone, any of her viewers to now look up and go after or do fuck knows what with. She's a Twitch streamer and I've never fucking seen someone do that. You probably make a good amount of your income from donations who are people hating on you. The reason you have donations open is for people to talk, donate and send their message. If it's not always good, oh, welcome to the fucking internet, love. Doesn't mean you read out someone's personal information. Twitch has a very strict policy on doxing. Here they say doxing can be illegal if someone publishes information that isn't in the public record, such as your bank account information, credit card numbers, or birth certificates. Doxing of any kind is prohibited by Twitch's community guidelines, even if the perpetrator only explores information available via public record. If your personally identifiable information is released on Twitch without your consent, you can file a report and we will investigate and enforce against the doctor if appropriate. So there is a lot of drama surrounding this one person, right? Could any of these be the reason she decided to leave Call of Duty? Possibly. But I honestly think she's got bigger plans. She's always wanted to do something bigger than video games. She claims to be an actress, but... Has she really featured in any films, plays, or anything that's been heard of? Not really. So maybe if she can just build up that much of a rapport online, then she can move into some sort of TV shows or films or something like that. But for now, what Nadia has planned, or what she is currently doing live on stream, is actually being a relationship counsellor. Right? What? I know. I'm shocked as well. But she's been live streaming, giving people relationship advice. And trust me when I say this, <laughs> it is not sound advice. So I hope to God these guys aren't paying for it. Take a look at some examples of Nadia giving advice for relationship issues now. Let's go. All right, Lax King, what's the problem here? All right, uh, I don't know how much it's a problem except for I need relationship advice about getting back into the game. But here's the story. So uh, I was dating someone for three and a half years, got engaged to this person. And when we got engaged, we booked a venue that had like a year waiting list. 
and uh, had our engagement party, which would happen to be a week before my birthday, coincidentally, but um, had our uh, party. And then the day after I found she was cheating on me with a co-friend that we shared. So I lost a friend and a fiance all in once. And then the real kicker to the story is because we had a year long waiting list, she basically kept the venue, kept the date, kept her dress and everything and just changed the groom's name I knew he was on the uh, invitation and had the wedding the same day and everything, but just a different person. And uh, yeah, so basically I'm looking for advice about how to get back in the game because truthfully I just don't trust anyone. Wow. Wow, this is kind of sad. I feel like I've heard this story like multiple times. Like, why does this kind of happen? Like, you know, you find out they're cheating on with your friend. That's what the fuck up. Yeah, it's a two. No, no, no. Honestly, she's weird as fuck for cheating. Like, same men, same day, the same dress. That's weird. So, I just have to say that. What did, did the shit already happen? Did they already. Yeah, that, oh, yeah it, it happened. already happened. She it happened. happened like a year ago, but. Oh. Wait, wait, when's the wedding then? It must be soon. No, the the wedding happened like a, oh, oh. like a year ago. Oh, oh. Okay. Wait, it's been, it's been a year? Yeah. Oh. Um, I've are dated. Her, I've, you know, I've are dated. Her parents I just don't together? feel like I trust anyone enough to actually get in a relationship fully. Are her parents together? Uh, Yeah, her parents are together, but okay. they have kind of a... Okay, yeah, marriage. you should definitely fuck her mom. For sure. Oh, and yeah. then you should become her stepdad and then ground the fuck out of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like sure. that advice. That would actually get her back and him too, right? Yeah, and then you'd become her stepdad. Just yeah, ground her. I'd Take become her phone. both of their stepdads. Wait, no, you would become both of her stepdads. You would. You would. Ground both of them. It'd be like a it'd be a double comeback at him and her. No, you should yeah, you should definitely fuck her mom. No, for, for real. I like that. Did, did you have a good relationship with her? I'm, I'm being dead ass. Everyone's laughing right now. I'm being so serious. I would do that. I would do that. It's literally like the best choice. Yeah, her mom uh, Her mom did always like to get real close, which is kind of weird that you're saying that, but. All right, bro. Honestly, even if her mom ain't it, bro, it's still it's still the move. Just to get back at her. I, I, I still think it's the move. So the model of the story is Nadia will literally do anything to get them views, right? Because that relationship advice she's been giving people is toxic, it's horrible, and it is not sound advice. And I'm sure any relationship counselor will tell you to avoid any advice from Nadia. However, there she is again, streaming on Twitch to thousands of people, talking like an absolute scumbag. So it does appear that she will do anything to get that fame that she desires so much. And maybe that clarifies a lot of the accusations against her from the very early days. But let me know what you guys think. So the question remains, is this what Nadia plans to do on live stream for the foreseeable future? Or will she continue with different games? Or will she actually continue with Call of Duty? It seems like she's looking for an out and she's trying everything possible to see how her chat and fans react to it. Right now, she's a relationship counsellor, but what will she be tomorrow? Who knows? If you did enjoy today's news, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's news. And if you want to get a little bit more involved with the community, you can join our Discord server. It's linked in the description below. Triple B, over and out.